Hey guys, so I wanted to update you on Jack's Little Midnight Visitor. If you haven't watched that video, you should go watch it right now because that's what this is about and you're not going to understand. Plus it's really <laughs> cute and it led to a bunch of other things that we <laughs> didn't anticipate. The video that I'm referring to was called um, The Curious Case of Jack's Midnight Visitor. And basically what happened is a dog showed up in our house, in our home. It came into the doggy door with Jack um, at a, almost one in the morning, and then it turned into one in the morning, then it turned in past one in the morning, one night. And <laughs> it was the craziest thing. It was this really nice dog. Jack was so excited and just playing with them. Jack's a really friendly dog. Um, and it was just, it was kind of crazy, and we, um, the dog didn't have identification tags, but it did have a vet, so we had called the vet, uh, left voicemails, we called um, a shelter, we called the sheriff's office. No one would help us at that time of night unless the dog was dangerous, which he wasn't. And the dog, we, he did act like he was going to keep marking in the house, so we were like, and um, if we tried to lock him in like a bathroom or someplace where we could just clean up the pee with if he would bark and wake up the kids and we were worried about safety concerns we didn't know this dog so we didn't want him to stay in the house it was 65 degrees that night we couldn't figure out how he got into our backyard we looked that night couldn't figure it out we left him water and a little bit of food fyi you should never leave a dog that you don't know are you found or rescue um you shouldn't give them a lot of food because their stomach, one, if they haven't had food in a while, they'll gulp it down and get sick. Two, um, even if they have had food, if it's a food a dog's not used to, it can upset their stomach. It just, you have to be careful. So we only gave him a tiny bit of food and he seemed, you know, clean and well kept. So we didn't think he'd been out that long and we gave him water. The next morning he was gone. This was only like four hours later we went and checked for him and he was gone. So at the end of the video we made, we had this little sad, dramatically sad, it's supposed to be kind of funny, but sad too, um, about Jack looking for his friend who disappeared. So. The next day, Jack went to look for his friend. He looked high, he looked low, but his friend was gone. on forever. It was freezing cold that morning. We'd had an ice storm. I am on the phone with a friend and I glance in the backyard. Who do I see? The little black dog who had randomly appeared was back at the house. And I was just like, I was shocked. I was like, no way. And I, even in my head, even part of me was like, has he been here the whole time? But I mean, he hadn't, but I just was going through all these scenarios. You guys, look who's back. And it's freezing cold, you guys. And he's wet and shivery. You poor dog. How long have you been out in this cold? He's freezing cold, you guys. I cannot leave him outside. All right. Here, honey, you want to hold my camera? Yeah. There you go. Hi, sweet dog. Look at little doggy. It's okay, it's okay. He was shivering. He was freezing cold. So, and I had no idea had he been out all night, you know? I mean, this dog could get sick like that. So, I brought him inside. He was muddy. I just didn't care anymore. I didn't care. I was like, I, I didn't want him to be on anything. I kept telling him no every time I thought he might. But I just didn't care about the mess. I just shut all the doors, let him in. I um, called Kyle because Kyle had already called the vet before. So, Kyle made the call. We get a hold of the owner. The owner said they had no idea the dog was out. The dog had been missing over the weekend when it came to our house, but they had found it. They had gone looking for it and called his name and they had, he had come back. They do live in our neighborhood. 
And she said that when they left for work that morning, the dog was there. And so he hadn't been out that long. Thankfully, he hadn't been out all night. So I kept the dog. They came and they picked him up. Guess what the dog's name was, if you haven't already watched the other videos. His name is Trouble. <laughs> the dog's name is Trouble. Like, what? So this little, cute, sweet black dog named Trouble, which is appropriate, had come back again. And yeah, so that's a video. That's another video. That is the return of Jack's Midnight Friends. I'll put all these little Trouble Saga videos down below. Then, so that that's that. And I, and I am tickled that he even came back. And it was such a crazy morning because if you watch the daily vlog of it, like the kids were going nuts because they were so excited and Jack was so happy and like Trouble was like shivery and muddy and I was like, ah! And the baby was like, I'm going to choose this moment to be really fussy. And I was like, so much is happening right now. Ah! But <laughs> it's a funny story to tell now. So it was worth it. Then the next day, I believe it was, and it's evening time. We're, we're done with dinner and Sophie is sitting at her craft table. And she goes, Mom, I, see tr I saw trouble. And I was like, I totally did not believe her. I was like, I was like, oh no, honey, he's not out there. Because I thought she, she just really liked him. And so I thought she was just wishful thinking. She's like, no, I saw a little black face and a little black nose because the dog's black. And she said, right there. And I was like, I still didn't really believe her. So Kyle went and looked outside and he goes, Courtney, Courtney, come here. Come, there's a dog in our backyard and it's trouble. And I was like, what? So of course I grabbed my camera and I'm like filming it. Kyle, are you being serious? <laughs> Are you serious right now? Trouble! Trouble! What the heck? Yeah. Oh. I, I told you I saw a black nose and a black hair! You did, honey. I didn't believe Sophie. Hi, Trouble! And we're like, hey, Trouble. And this time, Trouble's not really shy or nervous. Trouble comes right up to us wagging his tail, saying hi to the kids. He clearly likes kids, saying hi to Jack, saying hi to all of us. And this this is all with, and I'm like, oh, now we have the owner's number. So Kyle's like, okay, I'll go call him. But before he can even call them, within minutes, the doorbell rings. We think it's UPS delivering a package we were expecting. Kyle runs to the door to answer it, and it's Trouble's owner. And they said, we have been looking for Trouble for an hour. Is there any chance he came back here? And we were like, yes. Here he is, and they couldn't believe it either. And he, the, the, the guy who picked him up, he said, he goes, my grandma said, maybe, just maybe, he went back to those people's house a third time. And he's like, so we decided to come check because we were getting worried, and yeah, trouble had come back. So how is trouble getting out? Well, it turns out that they have a tiny little hole where the dog can get into the neighbor's backyard. Well, they hadn't worried about it because the neighbor's friends, and so they were just like, you know, we'll fix it, we'll fix it, you know, it just happened. But then, in the neighbor's backyard, the dog figured a way to get out of the neighbor's backyard. And apparently the dog's also a runner, as most dogs tend to be. Jack's a really good dog. He never runs away. But um, this dog's a, 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 you know, he bounds away happily, looking for adventure. So that's what Trouble was doing. And so anyway, they said they were like, we're trying to fix it this weekend. We're so sorry. And we were like, it's okay. It was funny, you know. So that happened. So we were just like, I cannot believe the dog showed up again. So then after that, we, that's it, right? We're like, okay, Kyle, he fixes the fence. Um, we oh, we find out that he's getting in because we had some fence posts that looked, like it looked like the fence was perfect, but if you pushed up against the bottom, you could, cr like the nail had come loose and you could lift it up and come in, but then it would come back into place and look like it wasn't broken. So we were like, ah, so Kyle checked the whole fence and he replaced that post and everything. So I was a little worried. I was kind of half joking, half serious. I was like, well, what if trouble comes back and can't get in? I was like, and then he's like lost. And Kyle was like, well, I mean, that's sad. I hope that doesn't happen, but it's, you know, we can't, that's not our responsibility, blah, blah, blah. I was like, so that's that. Well, today, this morning, the owners knock on the door and Kyle goes and answers and they're like, is trouble here? And we're like, no, he's not. And they were like, okay. And they were like, we're literally fixing the, the fence today, but he managed to get out. And we were like, he's not here, I'm so sorry. So we felt really bad, we were worried, you know, well, where's trouble? Fast forward, this is about nine in the morning that that happens. Fast forward to about 2.30 in the afternoon. And there's a, someone rings the doorbell. And Kyle goes to answer it, and it's a woman, and she has trouble in her arms. And she says, hi, is this your dog? He's hanging out in front of your house. I've been watching him. I was walking my dog. He's kind of dirty. 
and but he won't like he stayed in your yard so I thought maybe he was yours and he got out and it's the gist of what she said and Kyle was like he's not ours but we know who he is we'll take him <laughs> trouble you guys trouble came back he found our house a different way our backyard is backed up to a green belt and that is just a wide area of, of grass and that they won't build on and it's kind of like ours has walking trails and things and it's real pretty and, and it all the houses that are built along it it's just this long belt of grass and, and walking paths and it leads you to this big huge park so that's what back, our house is backed up to we don't back up to another house it's really nice and so um but it's a long thing like if, if so trouble would have had to come all the way down the green belt to our house couldn't get in then he would have had to go all the way back to get out of the green belt. Like, there's no way to get to the front of our house other than to go completely out of the green belt. And so he would have had to have done that. So he was missing this morning. They came here pretty quickly because they assumed he would have come back here. He probably did and couldn't get in. And then the dog went on his own little walk trying to find us. And, you know, he must have gone all the way back down to the green belt and walked around and scenting us out and came to our house and was waiting outside until someone let him in. <laughs> Seriously? And he was so happy to see us. I sat on the floor and he just sat with me, his little tail wagging, just cuddling against me. He wouldn't, like, eat or even drink water. And I was like, this dog has to be thirsty. He's been out all day searching for us, apparently. And I do not, and our neighborhood is a big neighborhood, I do not think it's a coincidence that he got back to our house. I, that is not a coincidence. That is too big of a thing to be a coincidence. Like, he did it on purpose. He came back to our house. I, for some reason, this, like, touched my heart so much. Like, I was just, like, almost teary-eyed. I was like, trouble. And I was kind of joking, and Kyle's like, I guess we'll have to adopt them. But and let me be very clear. His owners are really nice people, and Trouble is obviously taken care of. He's got a really, like, nice coat. Um, he's clean. I mean, the only reason he was dirty is because he'd been out. But he's, you know, a clean dog, good teeth, like, well-fed. I mean, you can tell he's not a neglected doggy. He just has decided that he enjoys our company. And I don't know, it's the craziest thing. I, I told Kyle, he kind of, like, laughed, but I was like, maybe we should try to set up some play dates because... The kids love him, and he's so sweet, and he obviously, like, thinks we're nice. <laughs> so, how crazy is this story? This is such a weird thing. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. It's just, like, this little, like, journey the dog must have gone on today to, like, get to our house another way. Like, it just touched my heart. So, that is the true story of Trouble, the little black dog that has adopted us, basically. So, <laughs> okay, and... Go and watch the video so you can catch up on the whole trouble saga because it's 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 unreal. Like it's a weird thing. It's a weird situation, but it's kinda of wonderful. Like I'm super glad it happened to us because one, it's a fantastic story to tell, and two, it just it touched my heart, this sweet little dog. So, alright. Bye guys.